The COVID crisis, affordable housing, and racial justice. Those were just some of the topics San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria touched on tonight during his inaugural State of the City address. News 8's Richard Allen joins us now with the big takeaways. Richard? And Mayor Gloria delivered his address from San Ysidro, one of the areas hardest hit by the pandemic and just two miles from the border, driving home the point that we need to invest in all of our communities. Honestly, the state of our city is fragile right now, but I have faith that it won't be for much longer. Mayor Gloria stressed his approach to the ongoing pandemic is a departure from the previous administrations, from training firefighters to administer vaccinations, to opening a vaccine super site at Tailgate Park, to more strenuous enforcement. We need to hold accountable those who choose to blatantly and egregiously defy public health orders. He also outlined his back to work SD plan, including support for small businesses hit hard by coronavirus, as well as extending the current eviction moratorium, which was set to end this month. A welcome move for thousands of workers, according to Keith Maddox of the San Diego and Imperial Counties Labor Council. Some of these workers that we're talking about, they are paycheck to paycheck, and it, it's going to be tough on working families climbing out of that hole. Another top priority, addressing homelessness. Mayor Gloria said he's bringing in one of the nation's top experts on the issue to improve the city's strategies. We have to not only help people get off the streets, but stay off the streets. This includes providing housing solutions with specialized social services, which is critical, according to Deacon Jim Vargas of Father Joe's Villages. So that they can retain their housing long term. I mean, that's the key. We don't want them back on, on, on the streets. Also crucial, providing affordable housing, including new housing construction for more San Diegans. You should be able to have a roof over your head without worrying about putting food on your table. Racial justice is also a major priority as the city builds up its new Office of Race and Equity. Injustices must be addressed more aggressively. This starts with acknowledging clearly and definitively that black lives matter. And to take a look at the entire state of the city, just go to cbsa.com and click on the story link.